So what I've got on the workbench right now is a faulty MSI GE 72QD Apache. This particular one's been tore apart to, clean, uh, to fix up the charger port on it, which has been done. But now the factory keyboard has issues. And the weird thing is I've got another one, or another brand new one, and it still has the same issues. Pressing across, nothing. Up, nothing. A whole bunch of this keyboard just isn't working. I haven't been able to figure out why. But this particular video today is how to update the BIOS on it. So right now I've gone to the MSI website, downloaded the correct BIOS, which is this one. Even though the description doesn't mention anything regarding the keyboard, I've got my fingers crossed that it may fix that. So what I've done is I've booted it up into the BIOS here. I've plugged my USB in, which I've made a copy of the BIOS file onto. Once you've gotten to the UFEI, it should be relatively straightforward to update your BIOS from there. We go under Advanced. BIOS Update. BIOS Update. A few different devices. But the one that stands out to me is USB. Click on it. Now I need to go through my list and find E17. There we go. E17 59ims.adc. Enter. Are you sure you want to update this file? Yes. System will power off and back on automatically. Okay. I didn't realize how dusty this screen actually was. But I'll let the machine power off. Oop, it just displayed the MSI logo. And now it's actually giving you a last chance to hit abort. Reset NVRAM, main block update. Yes, yes, proceed. Here we go. It says up here. System firmware is being updated, keyboard is locked. Don't turn off system, don't bump your power cable. When it's finished, press any key to reboot. So right now you may be able to hear the fan revving up. Basically the machine's trying to do everything it can not to stuff up. So it's trying to avoid overheating, it's trying to avoid the keyboard accidentally being pressed. Once you get to this stage, all you do is hit the go button and sit back and watch. Here we go, flash update complete, enter, back at the power. Now we'll expect it to potentially take up to about 30 seconds to a minute to display anything on the screen. Nah, excellent. We haven't killed it. So it is still probably just resetting various settings and trying to figuring or trying to figure them out. Bingo! There we go. So now we're starting up Windows. So that is a quick demonstration on how to update the BIOS on your MSI GE70. Catch you guys in the next video. Bye.